say that there is a need to amend uh, tender procedures but in order for us as administrators to do so or to, to enforce that change the change must be made directly from the supreme law of the country uh, our South African constitution it states uh, five pillars of public procurement which is we must conduct a public procurement in a fair, equitable, transparent, competitive, and cost-effective manner. Yet if you look at the five pillars, there is one thing that is missing, which is a challenge currently, is the sustainability, meaning we need to procure or conduct in tendering processes in a sustainable manner and ensure that we improve the quality of life of communities in a more sustainable manner. And therefore, if that change can be made at a constitution level, we will then be able to amend all other laws, regulations, processes and procedures, considering the fact that the, the, the constitution or the supreme law of the country, it is allowing that. Uh, take for instance, Currently, we are not able to amend tender procedures and include that even though, yes, I think there is section 152 of the constitution that is uh, providing the objectives of the municipality, which also talks to the fact that we should be rendering services to the public in a more sustainable manner, but we are not able to enforce that at tendering stage because it is not part of the tendering processes. And our businesses or business partners, they need to abide or to conduct business in a more, in, in a more responsible manner. Uh, yes, uh, the Nelson Mandela Bay Municipality have joined the Procura Press and Network. Uh, again, the, the municipalities that decided to join the Procura Plus networks are the municipalities that they have an interest of ensuring that they serve their community in a more responsible manner. So the, the Procura Plus network, it is really assisting us or it is uh, giving us um, information. Uh, they are actually capacitating us by means of workshops and um, conferences where we can learn from each other. But it is so unfortunate that uh, the, the South African or the African network, it is uh, operating under pressure. Uh, we have challenges like financial challenges. We are not even able to conduct seminars or conferences where we can meet on a regular basis and share knowledge and skills. Hence, we need support in terms of financial um, support or any other resources that will be useful to the uh, network. Uh, at the same time, the purpose of this network is purely, purely to ensure that we are able to create job opportunities as required by our law. We are able to improve the quality of life of our communities at the same time we need to look after the environment so this network it is there to assist us and to ensure that we perform or we conduct ourselves in a more responsible manner there are many strategies that the government can implement the first one, it will be amending tender processes. We need to have an environmental requirement as one of mandatory uh, tender conditions, which then the government should do business with companies that they can prove that they have sustainable embedded uh, processes 
or they can prove that on their business model, then they comply and meet all the requirements of sustainability and environmental issues. Um, secondly, we need to conduct business strictly with companies that are willing and companies that they need to show a commitment in assisting the government in achieving its goal in terms of improving the quality of life. Because in most cases, currently we are conducting business with companies that are focusing on profit generating rather than giving back to the community. Uh, the other strategy that the government can also do to motivate companies, the, the government can uh, maybe uh, change their uh, uh, funding mechanisms where they can adjust or amend their requirements to favor companies that they can show that they are innovative enough and they have a business models that are supporting the environment uh, requirements. And also the other strategy that maybe can be uh, implemented or government can use, it's um, having rebates on taxes for companies that have proven, proven um, that they have proven record of projects where they have implemented uh, sustainable projects and also where they have certificates that are showing that they have rendered such projects successfully. And again, what we have noticed is that government sometimes enters into a contract with a, a partner, which is a private partner, with an intention of a, a, a establishing a long-term relationship, but because of lack of a relevant conditions of contract, then those uh, projects or that relationship, it fails, or in most cases, government ends up spending more than what they have agreed on. So in that case, government needs to be strict and ensure that terms of contract are adhered to by all parties in order to ensure that if we form any partnership of some sort with private business, government is not ending up footing more bill than what they have um, than what they have planned for initially. Mm -hmm.